Hello everyone, this is Alan, and this is the week three sketchbook tour assignment. So this one took a while to make, um, so let me go on and just explain uh, what I did in order to do this assignment. Okay, so for starters, um, on the white cloth on the bottom, I used a um, 2B pencil. And, well, before I did that, I actually shaded the the cresses first because I wanted it to look seamless. And I wanted to, to like, I wanted the, the shadows of the cloth to really show the folds without having, like, actual um, pencil marks to do that for it. Um, and so with the 2B pencil, I just darkened the crest, the... Like the, the darker crests right here, or the, 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 the deeper parts. I can't think of the word. I'm sorry. And then, um, yeah, and I just shade that. And I just try to give it some depth by doing it. And then for up here, I graduated to a 4B pencil. And first I use it to sketch all around. And then with the shader, I shaded it some more. And then for the darker parts, I use the 6B pencil, so it's more, you know, so there's more uh, depth, so it looks just uh, so much more darker. And then for the vase and the little pumpkin, um, 2B pencil and 4B pencil, um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I think I, I, think I nailed the shine pretty well, uh, but of course there's always room for improvement. <laughs> And then, like always, I used um, a little bit of my pencil's eraser to add, like, that shine or reflection. And then, for the rest of the background, I used the 6B pencil mostly. Um, and I gotta say, I kinda wish I blended it a little bit better. But this is, like, the first time I've actually really done something like this. So, of course, um, it's not gonna be, like, perfect, but... Um, like all past assignments, I still try to make it as best as I can to my abilities and just, you know, put as much effort as I can. And even though, even though it wasn't exactly how I wanted it to look, I'm still proud of, I'm still proud of it. So, yeah, so there's that. And like I said, always room for improvement. And, yeah, and that's basically, that's practically it. So, thank you for watching.